Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to set up two-factor authentication on any Fortnite account. Now, it doesn't really matter if you're on Fortnite Mobile, if you're on Android, unfortunately iPhones, we can't do it. If you're on the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, it's exactly the same process. And all you need to do is have access to a phone or anything that can go on the internet, aka a computer. So the very first thing we want to do is open up our web browser and you want to make your, you basically just want to go to Epic Games website, but you want to start off by typing in Fortnite Epic Games. So pretty much just like this on any type of browser or whatever, and you can go and click go. And what happens here is you want to go and I guess you can click on the first one, but I usually click on the second one and I can go ahead and leave this link down below too. It'll probably help you guys out. So you can go and tap on it and it'll go ahead and take you into this website. Now what you want to do is you want to locate the top right corner, the little three little lines right there. All you want to do at this point is go ahead and tap on it. You'll come into this little page. You can see at the very bottom, it tells you that you can sign in. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and tap on that. It'll go ahead and ask you, do you already play Fortnite? Now most of you probably yes, if you've already played Fortnite before and if you already have an Epic Games account or whatever. Now it'll go ahead and tell you what do you play Fortnite for or on. And you can go ahead and specify you play it on the PC or PlayStation or whatever. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and click mobile because that's what I played it on. And I don't really think it affects anything. But here you can go ahead and log into your Epic Games account. Now, in my case, I logged into, you know, Epic Games here. But if you have another account, you want to sign into the exact same one that you have it on other accounts, basically what you play Fortnite on. So once you sign in, it'll probably take you back to the front page like this or some page like this. And you want to go ahead and click on the three lines again. You'll see your little name down here. What you want to go ahead and do is click on it and you'll see the little count option right here. All you want to do is tap on it right there and you'll come into this page. Now this will go ahead and tell you a bunch of little stuff or whatever, but you want to scroll down until you find the little thing called account information. So I went ahead and scrolled down and I do see the option called account information right there. Now all you need to do is right here, it's a little blue highlighted option It says two-factor authentication. All you have to do at this point is go ahead and tap on it and it'll go ahead and take you into this page and it'll go ahead and automatically take you down here to the Authenticator app. So all you have to do at this point is go ahead. Now after that, it'll go ahead and take you into a page like this. Now unfortunately I can't show you the whole thing because it's a lot of personal information. But at that point, all you want to do is download the Authenticator app that's like this. And here's just a little zoom up of it. And all you have to do at that point is pretty much just download the app. And already you already have two-factor authentication saved. And you'll see your little manual entry key right here. You want to copy that down. You want to download the Authenticator app. You want to keep that scanned QR code. But at this point, you're pretty much already set into two-factor authentication. So you pretty much just have to wait, you have to log in and you can go and go through that way and that's really pretty much the process. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.